Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. In this video, I want to talk about MRI for staging a man with newly diagnosed prostate cancer. The reason to consider such a test is because the potential of the MRI is to tell whether cancer is growing outside the prostate gland. In some cases, men may decide that if their cancer is indeed outside the prostate, they'd rather have a different treatment instead of undergoing surgery. So the real question is, can we accurately tell which patients have cancer confined to the prostate and which patients have cancer that's growing through the capsule and maybe into the seminal vesicles? So the status of the studies that have been done so far show that Yes, it's capable of doing it, but there's a significant inaccuracy rate, meaning that about 20 to 25 percent of the men who were told the cancer is localized actually have it outside the prostate, and about 30 percent or more of the patients who were told it's outside, it's really inside the prostate. And so it presents this dilemma of whether or not it gives reliable enough information to be worth doing. Now, some doctors will say that it's one more piece of information to use when trying to select the right treatment. It does appear, however, that in a man who has low-risk prostate cancer, meaning that his PSA is under 10, his Gleason score is 6, and he has either a T1C or T2A tumor, in those cases, the yield is so low of finding extracapsular disease that it really doesn't make sense to consider doing for those men. For the intermediate or the high-risk men, one might be able to make a stronger case of doing it. But again, many of the men who actually do have cancer that's growing through the wall will still, to have, still choose to have surgery, which is a very reasonable option. And so given this inaccuracy and given this uncertainty, it's unclear how many men will truly have their therapy changed as a result of the findings from the MRI. Now, one way to help get it better is to do what's called an endorectal MRI, in which the probe is placed actually through the rectum, and it gets closer to the prostate gland. But the best of the studies so far still show this limitation. The challenge is trying to find microscopic cancer using a test like an ultrasound machine, which may have difficulty finding small amounts of cancer. So the bottom line here is, it's an option for staging. Some doctors use it and recommend it. But in most cases, it's not very helpful, certainly not for low-risk disease. And even for men for inter intermediate or high-risk disease, the inaccuracy rate means that a lot of men will get told to change their therapy or choose their therapy when the information being used is incorrect. I hope you find this information useful. Thank you for watching.